Hi everyone, it's Brienne of The Huntswoman at the underscore Huntswoman on all social media channels. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And today I have Karen Rich of Rich Makeup Artistry. And uh, Karen have, and I have worked on a few projects together and I don't really understand contouring or how it works. So I thought it would be fun to do a video with Karen. So Karen, do you wanna like talk about like where you went to school and how this whole spread happened? Yeah, so I went to an aesthetic school. Mm -hmm. um, it's Acadia Spa and School of Aesthetics. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. In Provo, Utah. Mm -hmm. um, they do an advanced makeup course because mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to be an esthetician. I mm -hmm. just wanted to do the makeup. Mm -hmm. So I did that and it's great. Well, yeah. Here we are. Here we are today. And then where can people find you online and on social media? Um, so on Instagram, it's at Rich Makeup Artistry. I have a website. It's just richmakeup.co. <laughs> you said you wanted glam, right? Glam. We're doing glam. Yes, I'm ready for glam. Yeah. Okay, so how do we start? So every makeup application, you want to start with a fresh, clean face. Okay. The fresher and cleaner your face, the better. You just want to make sure that your skin is dry. So my favorite moisturizer that I like to use is this one by Ember Lee. So want to do the like beauty it. blogger behind the hand? I don't know. It's like even in books. So, so what is this? Right. Who is she? Okay. How do you say this? Ember Lee. Ember Lee. Le Creme Concentrate. Something know. French. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it in the description. I like to start moisturizing just at the center of your face. Um, so we're gonna because normally beauty bloggers like they show their blush or whatever as they're doing it And I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna try to situate me towards you guys to see what's going on Okay, go for it Karen. Okay, so start at the center of your face and just kind of Work it on out. We're gonna give you a mini facial here. I love people touching my face <laughs> I know some people hate getting their makeup done, but every time I come over I'm like yes Let's do it. <laughs> Put brushes all over me. <laughs> That sounded weird. I regret nothing. <laughs> cool. So now that we've got that, um, I love this Mac Mac Strobe <laughs> Cream. <laughs> We're gonna link it. Um, and it is a moisturizer, but it has kind of like this. It was like glow tacky. to it. Yes. Yeah. So I like to put this just where we want some extra glow since we're, you know, doing some glam. This will go underneath your foundation and it'll look really nice and um Natural just kind of give you that natural mm. glow mm. here. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna turn my face for this part So just on the high points of your cheeks, we'll do some down the center of your nose here <laughs> Just anywhere where you want some extra extra light. <laughs> so the foundation that I use is a professional. It's a brand called Graftobian and okay. you'll see it comes with a bunch of different shades, which is why I buy it as a professional. Um, they have different palettes, like this is their big, big one. Oh, see, wow. So I have like every shade I could possibly need. Right now I'm just gonna match some foundation to you. I rarely will use a shade straight out because I wanna make sure that it's like completely disappearing into your skin, which this one actually is, so. Sometimes you just get lucky. Yeah, sometimes you're just easy. Ever. So I like to start in the center of the face and blend out because most people need more coverage in the center of their face and mm -hmm. out here they don't really break out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. And what kind of brush is this? This one is a Cosette P340. P340. And I love it. I think it feels just like very nice. So luxurious. Like the softest brush ever, but any foundation brush will work. You like this foundation? What I'm putting on you, like in, on camera, you probably can't really see that big of a difference. Mm -hmm. But we're just evening out skin tone. Yeah. And if we need more coverage elsewhere, we can go in just on those little spots mm -hmm. and add more coverage later. Um, but foundation really should just be about laying a good foundation, foundation. for your face. I mean, as I said before, your skin is like flawless, so we really won't need to go back in. 
and you want a brush kind of like this one. Um, this is by B. Delium Tools. It's the 957. Oh, it's literally B as in boy, Delium mm -hmm. Tools 957. Okay. Yep. There. And what does this do? This is just gonna kind of buff out your foundation, make it look extra flawless. For powder contours as well, I have the Anastasia, some people say Anastasia, it's fine, contour kit. You have like, oh, that's still wet from my rubbing alcohol, delicious. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have different shades you can use for like, you know, these warmer shades you can use as bronzer, mm -hmm. cooler shades you want for contour. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're different. <laughs> um, and then highlighting setting powders, all that stuff. Something that's a little less expensive and with more shades is this one by NYX. Um, again, you have your different shades for contouring and then you've got some nice yellow powder for brightening mm. and highlighting things. Um, this one's really great and I think it's only like 25 bucks. Okay, so we use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one because that's I honestly learned about this brand because of RuPaul's Drag Race. That's where I first. Really? Yeah, I think they did like a <laughs> prize or they spot. I don't know, but mm. it was like years ago. They're great. They were smart. Go where the drag queens are. They mm -hmm. go through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, show. Okay, so which one did we just get? So I got this middle one. That's okay. a really cool shade. When you're doing contour, I want you to think of shadows. Mm. So when you look at a shadow, is it orange or is it like black or gray? Yeah. So, should we be using these orange bronzers as contour? No. No, that's not the color of a shadow. shadows. Yeah, no. they're cool. Okay. No. It's fine for a bronzer. So, when you're doing your contour, you want to start at like the top of your ear. Ah. And go kind of down angle towards the corner of your lips. Oh, you can okay. also feel like for your cheekbone. Mm -hmm. Feel where that is and go right underneath it. That feels, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> When you're blending your contour, don't drag it down. You'll give yourself like a five o'clock shadow. Uh-huh, cute. Beard. Love that. You want to keep it nice and feminine, so like blend up. Oh, so you're doing contour. like short strokes up. Yeah. Mmm. I've got this hand over here like that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Move here for a second. See, so we go from <clears throat> top of the ear here and kind of down towards the corner of the mouth. So just blend up here. And you, um, we can add more later. The thing is, I would rather start out light and then add more later yeah. if we feel like we I'm always that it. person that's like, can we contour more? And they're like, <laughs> are you trying to be a Kardashian? And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was the brush that we just used for like that last step? It's the Betalium Tools 962. Okay. Just any that's kind of like domed on the top and like angled Fair is right. great. Mm. And then blush, I'm not so picky with. It's still got blue on it from our hands. <laughs> <laughs> we did a shoot that I, that hasn't been released yet. And that, well, yeah, there was some blue aliens. Anyways, we're back. Um. Just blush. I don't really have a specific recommendation for blush. This one is Coastal Scents. A lot of people like the NARS Orgasm Blush. If you're feeling a little risque <laughs> with your makeup names. <laughs> and how do you choose a blush color? Blush, honestly, I think you can wear like whatever you want. 20s? Yeah. Don't like that either. Yeah. We're good. I like... To just play around with blush. I love blush. Maybe I should have been in the 80s. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us what brush we're using. Now. This is the B Delium Tools 959. For blush, I just really like a big fluffy one. Makes I always look for like the bunny tail looking ones. Oh yes. Like ridiculous. Beautiful. Okay. And um, a little brush tip here. Mm -hmm. um, when you're using powders, if you use natural hair brushes or something that's like imitating natural brush hairs, 
it doesn't hold on to the powder as well. Mm -hmm. So it'll go on your face better. If you're using light creams and things like that, you don't want a natural brush um, because it'll soak up all of the liquid, all of the Okay, so let me like reflect and listen. I'm probably gonna get this opposite. So if you are using a powder, you do want to use a natural hair brush because it doesn't hold on. Mm -hmm. But if you're using liquids, you don't want to use a natural hair brush. And why is that again? Because the liquid will soak in to the natural hair uh, and you'll lose a lot more product. So you want something like synthetic. Synthetic, like this one that we used for the foundation. your foundation. Because that'll mm -hmm. actually come off onto your skin. Cool. Instead of all soaking up into the brush. We're learning. So I'm gonna mix these two shades on my brush. I know this one seems really bright, but it's you okay. have really fair skin, so they look really pretty. I trust you, care. Blush. Mm -hmm. You want to kind of come, like if you smile, you see where it's like the meatiest part oh, of your cheek? Oh, okay. So you come right on there. It's like the butt of the face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone loves a good butt. <laughs> okay, so you kind of pat it on there and then blend it out. You want it to focus mainly right here. And mm -hmm. here's another little thing, like when you have product on your brush, mm -hmm. the very first place that you put the product is where it's gonna be the heaviest. Mm, so like sense. for your contour, we want the darkest part of it to be back by your ear, cause that's mm. where most of the shadow is gonna be. But for your blush, when you flush like naturally, mm -hmm. it's at the, like this part of your cheek. The focus it there and then blend up and out. And a lot of people these days don't like blush, but I... I love blush. I love blush. It just adds more life and like youthfulness to your face because Bigger. you naturally have some color on your face. Yeah. Like no one's just tan colors on their face. No. I also feel like because I'm so fair, if I don't have blush, it just... Yeah, you kind of look a little, little dead. dead. Yeah, little dead. and I think that's true for everyone. <laughs> you don't have to go crazy with the blush, just like a little bit, just to add, especially if you're doing a dark lip, actually. Mm-hmm. Which we love to do. We love mm -hmm. a statement lip. <laughs> Blend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love this one for highlighter. I use it on like everyone. If you have like darker skin though, and you feel like Oh, hold on, let's of, go this way so they can see what's going on. And if you feel like these kind of highlighters look white on your skin, you're right. You kind of want something like a little more rose goldy mm -hmm. for your highlighter. Mm -hmm. And that'll look more natural on your skin. And again, we want to blend this out because we've all seen those people with like the stripe of highlighting. You know, I've definitely been on my Instagram story and been like, mm, didn't blend that, did you? Know. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's fix that and then get back online. Yeah. So this will just go like right on the top of your cheekbones, like right on top of that blush. We don't want to go like from your nose all the way out to your ear. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like right here where the light naturally catches is where you want that. Mm. Cool. I look so cute. Thanks, Kara. <laughs>